Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is day 15 of our September lockdown challenge. So this will be the final beginner video of the series. Today I have a sunset flow for you. Perfect to get a little bit of movement in at the end of the day. We're gonna start standing on one end of the mat. Inhale, stand tall. And exhale, roll forwards, rounding down one vertebra at a time fingertips towards the mat bending your knees as much as you need to take a breath in here and exhale hips spin backwards as you roll up restacking the spine inhale stand tall and exhale head goes forward shoulders forwards arms are relaxed as you unroll down to the mat inhale breath in here and exhale roll back up warming up the spine head is the last thing to come up inhale stand tall reach your arms out to the side and up overhead grab hold of your left wrist and pull it a little higher as you open through your left side ribs back to center Grab hold of your right wrist and pull it a little bit higher, opening through your right side body. Back to center, lower the hands down. Inhale, bring your hands in front of you as you sit your hips back into a shallow squat. Exhale, palms face the floor, pull your elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, push back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze your elbows. Reach, pull, reach, pull. Three more. Two, three, and stand up tall, hands by your side. Inhale, roll your left shoulder back. Slide your left hand down your side. Exhale, roll to the center and back up through middle. Inhale, roll your right shoulder back into the side as you slide your right hand down. Roll to center and then restack your spine. Inhale, left shoulder rolls back, stretching to your left side. Rolling forwards and exhale, come up. Rolling your right shoulder back to the side. Center roll up let's do one more on each side rolling the left shoulder middle roll up right shoulder rolls middle and coming back up inhale stand tall exhale coming into one more roll down take your time here and this time make your way onto hands and knees Coming into some pelvic tilts in this position, round your low back only, tucking pubic bone to belly button. And then arching your low back, think about widening through your sit bones, tilting the pelvis down. Exhale, tailbone tucks under, tilting your pelvis towards you. And inhale, tilting your pelvis away. Little arch in the back. Tucking under, pubic bone to belly button. Inhale, sit bones widen. Exhale, pubic bone to belly button. Inhale, widen. One more, tilting towards you and tilting away from you. And coming into a neutral position, push into your hands. Inhale, bring the right leg back, toes reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, knee back down. Inhale, lift to the side. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift back. Lower, lift to the side. Lower, back. Lower, side. Lower, back. Lower, side. Lower, one more. Now reach the right leg long. Flex your foot and then point your toes. Flex, point. Flex, point, 
Warming up the ankles here. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Bring that knee back in. Sit your hips back into a child's pose, giving your wrists a break. And then coming back up onto hands and knees. Inhale, left foot reaches up towards the sky, knee bent. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left knee out to the side. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, side. Exhale, lower. Back, side, back, side. Really rotating through your hip here. Stabilizing through your hands and shoulders. Last one. Reach your left leg long. Flex your foot and point. Flex, point, flex, point. Six more. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Bring the left foot in. Sit back into your child's pose. And then make your way up onto your forearms. Knees bent in a sort of modified plank position. Rock forwards, bringing your nose over your fingertips. And then push through your forearms, rock back, bringing your hips closer to your heels. Rock forwards, back. Inhale forwards, exhale back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your hips to the floor, knees just separated. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale, bringing the right arm over as your left forearm comes to the floor. Inhale, back up over to your right side. Exhale, forearm to floor, right arm reaches long. Last one, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left forearm to floor as your right arm extends. From here, straighten out your right leg to your side, staying propped up on your forearm. Reach your right arm overhead as you lift your right leg up and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Keeping that stability through your forearm, pushing your shoulder away from your ears. Four more. Three, two, one. Lower your right leg down. Staying on your form, bend your right knee and lift the leg up to hip height. Inhale, bring the knee a bit closer to you and exhale, extend behind you, keeping your knee bent. Inhale forwards, exhale, pushing back. Inhale forwards, exhale back, forwards, back, trying to limit any rocking of your pelvis here. Last two. And then lowering your right leg to the floor, bringing your right knee in contact with the sole of your left foot. From here, rotate over your left thigh, drop your head to the floor, resting on your hands, holding the stretch here. One more breath in, and then push yourself up to seated. Swing your legs around to bring your knees down to the right, feet on the left. Inhale, reach your right arm over, stretching towards your feet. Exhale, drop your right forearm to the floor. Reach your left arm up. Inhale, coming up, right arm over. Exhale, coming onto your right forearm, left stretching up. Inhale, stretching towards your left. And exhale, coming down onto your right forearm. Stay here. Extend your left leg out, reaching your left arm long. And lift your left leg. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Again, stabilizing through that forearm. 
shoulder is away from your ear. Four, three, two, one. Lower the left leg, bend the knee, stacking your legs. Float the left leg up just to the level of your hip. Inhale, slide it forwards. And exhale, sliding back, moving in the same plane. Forwards, back. Keeping that mobility through your hips, but pelvis stable. Last few. Two. One. Bring your left leg to the floor. Bringing the left knee in contact with the sole of the right foot. Rotate over your right thigh, bringing your head to rest on your hands on the floor. Take a breath in here. And then make your way onto your stomach. Bringing your hands right under your shoulders. Head hovering off the mat. Inhale. Gently push through your hands to lift the chest up ever so slightly off the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Trying to use as much of your back muscles as possible and only using your hands to push gently. One more lift. Hold this position and see if you can hover both hands off the mat. Just holding here. And then lower the hands, lower the head. Push yourself back up onto hands and knees. Inhale, rotate to your right as your right arm goes up towards the sky. Exhale, thread the right arm through. Shoulder to mat. Holding here. Coming back to center. Inhale, open to your left as the left arm reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, thread through, resting on your left shoulder. And coming back up to neutral. Push into your fingertips, tuck your toes under. Exhale, hover the knees off the mat and rock forwards, back, forwards, back, keeping your knees hovering. Last little core challenge here. Last three, two, one. Lower the knees. Now see if you can step your feet up towards your hands. And from this position, roll up, bringing your hips to the sky, rolling up, Restacking one vertebra at a time. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, rolling forward once more. Keeping your hips high, knees as bent as you need them. Grab hold of your opposite elbows and just gently sway side to side here, opening up through your low back. On your next exhale, hands come back to center. Pubic bone tucks forwards as you restack your spine, starting from the bottom all the way up to your neck. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Grab hold of your left wrist, stretching a bit more. Grab hold of your right, stretching over to your left a bit more. Back to center. Lower the hands down and you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this final beginner routine. The more challenging version will be our day 30 routine, the last of the series. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video.